Hi everybody, JJ here from the ASUS RG Suite, CES 2017. So right here next to me, I've got two of our latest generation Z270 series motherboards with the Maximus 9 Extreme, as well as the latest generation Maximus 9 Apex. So many of you are familiar with the Extreme series. It's really come to be known as the highest end board that ROG series users are looking for. But what's new to this generation is instead of necessarily focusing on overclocking, we've brought it to be much closer to the formula series. So we're focusing a lot more on water cooling. And that's actually what you see first and foremost right here on this board. We've got an integrated mono block design specifically for the CPU, but also actually for your M.2 drives. So that's actually where things get really special. Directly underneath here is you're gonna be able to go ahead and mount your M.2 drive, keep it nice and cool, and maintain the highest level of performance. Another really cool thing with this block design is that we've got a couple of cool features built in to be able to give you a, I'd say, easier and more reliable water cooling experience. One, there's actually a breach sensor. So if water actually ever comes out of the water block, the system can automatically shut down. Another really cool thing is that there's built-in flow monitoring and even temperature monitoring for, for both the inlet and for the outlet. Some other really cool updates are gonna be that of course you've got M.2, but you've also got a heatsink design to keep this part also nice and uh, operating cool. The audio design, of course, like always, has been seriously updated. So we've got an ESS Sabre DAC built on board, operational amplifier, punch up that volume and sound. But another really cool thing that we brought over from the X99 series of motherboards is going to be the integrated IO shield. So this is really sweet because it just makes the overall installation process much more streamlined and simpler. And we've even added some nice updates in terms of giving you actually colored lighting for the actual audio jacks. Now, some other, I think, points of appreciation for water cool enthusiasts are gonna be the number of fan headers on this board. 10 fan headers in total, and there's even dedicated sections which are designed for grouped radiator configurations. So if you're gonna be running one, two, three, four fans, you can simply connect to that and have those all be uniquely controlled uh, with single groupings. It makes things really awesome for anybody that's looking towards water cooling. Now, moving over here to the Apex, this board has been seriously designed from the ground up to give you the most amazing overclocking experience. Now, if you want to handle things in a really simple and easy fashion, you can jump into the software suite. The click of a button automatically overclock based on temperature, based on voltage, based on CPU frequency. But for the guys that really want to jump into the UEFI and dial in all the key parameters, that's where this board's really special. We've reworked everything from the VRM design to the board topology to give you an amazing OC experience. Now, where things get, I think, really interesting, though, is that while it's built for overclocking, it's still going to make a great everyday build type of system. You've got really cool uh, RGB lighting in multiple zones, so here in the top section of the board, down here towards the PCH, and then directly here within the PCH. This part right here is what we call the light bar design. So cool thing is you can go ahead and disable this on the fly if you want to, but if you do use this light bar, you can't actually directly etch into it. So if you want to put your, uh, let's say the name of your system, or you want to put your name or customize it to some way, the actual LEDs will shine directly through that. So that's pretty sweet. Now one thing that's really unique is gonna be this right here. This is the DIM.2. Normally on a motherboard you see M.2 slots, usually around here, but here we actually have it vertically designed and implemented. This is gonna allow you to get better airflow and even better performance. And you can see we've got some lighting that's built into play here. So that way you can go ahead and accent your M.2 drives. One other nice thing too is that there's actually M.2 on both sides. So if you're looking to do rated configurations, we've got you covered. And just like the rest of the ROG boards that we've got for this generation, you still get your updates, uh, including an audio upgrade design, great quality fan controls, and of course, a great monochromatic color aesthetic to go with the RGB sync lighting. So that wraps up our quick coverage on some of the latest ASUS Z270 ROG gaming boards. You want to make sure and subscribe for more content coming to you from CES 2017.